Good morning, everybody. We are here. It is Friday. Who knows how good today is going to be? It might be a little bit slow since it's a Friday, but we are sitting here and we are going to have a good one. Who do we have first in the chat today? We've got Frank first in the chat, man. What's going on, Frank? Pika Power. Frank Pika. Paul Pika. Shih Tzu Inu. Paul Frank. Paul Nick F is in the chat as well. Shih Tzu Inu. Frank Lewis Cassie. Paul Shih Tzu Inu. Cassie. Shih Tzu. Cassie. Paul Cassie. And Pika Power. Let's see what we got going on in the market guys coming on over here to weeble we've got amc on a downtrend right now it was doing very well this morning pulling back a little bit hit 2169 currently sitting at 2068 we've got shiba inu coin sitting at 2460 right now bouncing off that 2500 point per coin level again came all the way up here to 2542 wasn't able to maintain it and it is pulling back right now sitting at 2460 prog on the bottom left we've got prog at a dollar 71 GameStop, or bottom right, did I say bottom left, bottom right, I don't even know, GameStop, bottom left, we've got uh, $147.64 right now, up 3.70%, the NASDAQ is actually getting hit pretty hard today, it wasn't doing too bad this morning, but now it is down 1% right now, we've got Farmy down about 2.5%, sitting at 15.67, AMC, like we just looked at up there, doing pretty well, up 2% today, Sundial, giving back some of those gains we saw earlier in pre-market, uh, Pre-market and after hours yesterday, 93 cents. Sundial, we got profit takers coming in, dropping it all the way down to 71 cents. And now it seems to be bouncing back off those levels, up 3% on the day. Still an excellent gain after being, I believe, it, yeah, 61 cents. Yesterday morning, it was at 61 cents. So even a drop back down to 71 cents. Still doing very well there. Mullen Auto getting hit pretty hard today. Sitting down 16%, $2.50. Camber Energy down 2.5. Spy down slightly. BBIG down 5.5. And HYMC down at 129.5 cents per share. Let's go back over here to the chat and see what we got going on. 18.9 million of the 21 million supply of Bitcoin has been mined. What happens when all 21 million have been mined? Will they create more or is it over for Bitcoin? So they're not, they're not as far as I know, right? They're not going to create any more Bitcoin, but there will still be like mining and transactions. You're not, you wouldn't be just mining the new ones. The transaction and part of those transaction fees that you pay go to the, the miners out there. The ones that are, I guess, performing all of the validation on the blockchain are the ones that will be receiving those fees that are paid once all of the crypto are mined. So they're still going to be mining. They're still going to be making money. They just won't be minting new coins. They will be validating with the transaction fees then. What's up, Clay Run family? AMC Trapper. Good morning, man. People are, I love. I was just thinking about thinking of the offline tomorrow. I forget it's Friday today. Yep, today is Friday. Today is definitely Friday. Good morning, Clay. Man, oh man, do I have a topic I would like to discuss? Male conscious <laughs> devil's advocate. Uh, I don't know what to discuss about that, but uh, all right, if if that's what you want to talk over breakfast, we can do it. Don't forget to tell your grandma you're a rich now. Do it. Yes, Cassie. Make sure to tell your grandma you're rich. Trip bro, the trial's looking really nice. 99% effective. Fertility restored four to six weeks after you stop taking it. Or it doesn't affect hormones. And it's safe as per current. Dude, is this prog or is this just like, is this real life, man? Sounds dangerous. Sounds very dangerous, man. Quibis is allowing ADA to be staked just for owning it on their app. Now I'm regretting selling my Cardano. Big bar, you can go buy more. You can go buy more. It's okay. Cardano was doing very well over the last two weeks. Let's see if we can find Cardano here. Yeah, on a little bit of a pullback today, down um, 2.5%, almost 3%. But if we look at this, we, we broke out of that downtrend, and we're just having a pullback today. But, man, it is looking very nice over the last two weeks or so, going from $0.78 cents all the way up to a buck nineteen yesterday is what it was. Yeah, but a buck nineteen yesterday. So Cardano performing very well, and apparently, guys, if you own it on Coinbase, you you get staking rewards just for owning it there. Pika, do you know what the rewards are? What percentage for what percentage do you earn for for holding it on your Coinbase wallet? Uh, let's see. So we are definitely not early in Bitcoin. Nah, Remy, man, I think that we're not early. Clearly, early would have been like 2010, 2011 when you were mining, dude, and you could have just used your laptop. 
sorry. You could have just used your laptop, dude, and you would have been mining like tens of coins uh, probably a week just using your laptop. Uh, that would have been very early. We're, we're late to the game now, especially if you're Bitcoin mining, but I don't think that it's like the end game, man. I, I think that there will always be use for it and always use for miners. So that day I was watching a show and they just said, crush them up and feed them to your man in his food. <laughs> oh, guys, don't do that. Don't do, please don't do that. No, don't do it. I guess sign me up. Oh my gadget gets crazy now. Probably actually, I wanted you to help me with that. It's easy to find data on the studies, but I can't figure out what company is doing it. Okay, okay. I'll pull out jokes aside, and this is a great investment idea. I would love the possibility of not needing to trust those, <laughs> not being able to take it themselves, and not worry about kids. Ah. Uh, in that regard, yes, man, yes. Or you know, somebody could crush it up and put it in your cereal and spring it across like sprinkle it across like sugar. But man, three point seventy five percent, and I had a lot. Dang it! Get some more, Pika. Get some more. And I don't know. Three point seventy nine, three point seventy five percent is not bad at all, just for owning it and not necessarily staking it and locking it up for a period of time. Wait, where's the chipmunk at, Miguel? The chipmunk, okay, so the chipmunk, I, I did see him, uh, honestly, it was probably last week now. Took a couple pictures of him. I think it was last week, dude. It could have been, like, Monday this week now. I forget. Uh, but it's it's rather cold out right now, man. It's, like, 40 degrees, but with the with the wind blowing, it feels like, so it said it feels like it's 35. I doubt that I see the chipmunk running around today or this weekend. It's supposed to be cold as well. So, he has been out. He has been eating out of his dish. I did take some pictures of him. Maybe I should send some picture, post some pictures on Twitter or something. But uh, yes, the chipmunk is around. It's just, it's just a little cold out right now. Uh, let's see. Hey yo, Cassie, how come my frosted flakes looks extra frosted today? What's the big idea? Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. These Fruit Loops aren't supposed to have white sugar on them. What are we doing here? Come on, Cassie. What are you feeding me? Cassie's feed. Oh, you know what I want to do. I want to look at AMC options, the 2050 strike. Let's see if we'd still be making money on that, because it looks like we would, but I don't know what these prices are. Uh, okay, so the 2050 strike. If we would have bought that 1348 crossover yesterday, it does seem like we are still in the money there. 2050 is the price. We would we would have gotten them for 58 cents, so we can currently still sell them for 73 cents. So looking good in that regard. If you guys would have jumped in on that trade, uh, otherwise you would be up, I believe, about 60 cents on those uh, per share or you'd be up about 20 cents per share on your options right now. So, hey man, still on the money on that 1348 crossover, but I don't know what AMC looks like crossover-wise on the five minute. We would've gotten back in pre-market this morning, basically exactly where we were, this 20, 2004 line. But we are coming back now and we are coming back down at a pretty accelerated pace. But yeah, yesterday we would have gotten out of this crossover here, gotten back in, gotten back out, gotten back in. So there's a lot of crossovers that happened on the five minute chart. If you guys were wondering about that 1348 deal. Let's go. Let's see, Prong pulling back a little bit, GameStop pulling back, AMC pulling back. It's all right, we'll move on with our lives. Uh, it's pretty hard to crush rubber. I get what I guess it would not be as bad with some hot sauce. Yeah, it would definitely not be as bad with hot sauce. Everything's a little bit better with hot sauce, but rubber and hot sauce, I, I don't know if that's any good. Hello, yesterday, GME max cost to bar was 47%. Ordinary toad, man, 47% is a very high cost to borrow. It, it's not going to be cheap for the, the hedge funds or the shorts or anybody to keep those shorts alive at a 47% annualized rate. They would need that that cost to borrow to come down to offer some relief if they expected to keep those shorts alive. AMC cost to borrow max was 5%. At least it's going up, man. I've put almost everything, most of my attention into Matic, but I'll jump back. Uh, but I'll jump back into Cardano. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much you got in Polygon there. I do believe that Polygon's going to be pretty good longer term. I don't know if Polygon's got staking, though. Does Polygon have staking anywhere? 
Trevor Madden just happy he calls you and you're like, yo, I'm bringing it. You whisper to her on the phone. I'm on the pill, baby. So it ain't mine. You never call me again. And you hang up. That would be that'd be very weird, man. That'd be very weird. I feel like we're, people are switching roles now. Pika, I love you. Vengeance. Good morning, vengeance. I like hot sauce with my hot sauce. Remy, that's the way to go, man. Anybody put hot sauce in their hot salsa? I've done that before. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom in here on Shiba Inu coins. See what we got going on. Man, I wish it would have bounced and, and stayed above this 2,500 level. Let's put this at 2,500 there. I wish it would have stayed above. No. 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 2,500. I wish it would have stayed above that 2,500 level. Uh, seems like everything's kind of falling off, though, after the early morning gains that they were having here. And the NASDAQ, I'm going to blame the NASDAQ. I'm going to blame it on the NASDAQ today, guys. NASDAQ was doing good, 14.2, pulling back a little bit, down 1% today, but still up above our support line. So that is looking good there, and hopefully the NASDAQ's able to maintain that. I, you know what? We don't need, we don't need that anymore. We're going to leave that. Yeah, let's make this a little bigger. I like that. And then, you know what? We don't. I don't want that either. We can watch that. We can watch that and how that plays out. I'm gonna put a line here too. I'm gonna get a resistance line in here. Yeah, that's actually some resistance right there. We might just be bouncing off resistance that we were, we're having back in here. That might all that might be all that this is here. It's just a little bounce off resistance. Yeah. We'll blame it on that, guys. Especially back here, back here. Bouncing off support here, support here. And then resistance in here. We'll blame it on resistance lines. Break up above that though would be pretty nice, because then you'd have another seven hundred point increase from where we're at right now. Nine hundred point increase almost. Golly bump. That'd be nice. 7% rise in the NASDAQ. Yes, please. Yes, please. But let's watch GameStop. Hopefully GameStop continues to have a great day. Guys, just in the last one, two, three, four, five, like two weeks, GameStop runs from 77 to 150 bucks. Doubling your money in two weeks on GameStop. Nearly doubling your money uh, in two weeks on AMC. AMC still doing very well from $13 all the way up to $20. 50% increase there. But GameStop, man, rolling higher. Doubling your money in a two-week period. I don't think you can ask for much more than that. Anybody still in Mullen Auto, though? Down 17% today. It is getting hit pretty hard. Vengeance, was you? Was that you lurking around? That why was Vengeance lurking around. Vengeance is always lurking in the shadows. Hoodro is going to get the February 14th calls at 20.50 this morning. Below $20, but was on the road. Next time, Gadget. Let's get it next time, Frank. Either way, man. Either way. You know, as long as you live to trade another day, you're doing good there. You guys don't need to be trading while you're on the road either, though. Put that stuff on everything. Mark, if it makes it taste better, I say do it. What do you expect Luna to reach today? So Luna Terra, man, I, I don't know. I don't follow Luna Terra very closely, so I have no idea what it would be able to reach today. Um, I'm sure. Is this what you're talking about here, though, Luna Terra? I don't know. If this is a daily chart here, I wouldn't expect it to do too much. In terms of price action today, I'd say it stays right in this area between 92 and and 94 bucks. I wouldn't expect too much action out of that. And AMC pulling back, AMC pulling back, GameStop pulling back, really following that Nasdaq down right now. Why oh why do they do this to us? I have exactly one thousand and one Matic Pika. Very Pika's the Matic Queen. I love it. Ordinary tone. I crafted Danelle a brand new crown. You are still a king toad. There you go, ordinary toad. Back to his kingdom. I'm still in Mullen. AMC Trapper still in Mullen Auto. Anybody else still in Mullen? I have six Mullen going to be rich. Cassie, very nice. Rolling with six Mullen. I like it. It's 2025 Trapper and sitting around playing GTA 6 and hitting that what what? His alarm goes off. Like, yo, bro, oh, vitamin time, homie. Take your BC pills, a pregame, and then hit the town. BC, B oh, birth control. <laughs> I was like, BC, BC, what are we doing here? Thanks, Pika. But once you relinquish the crown, it can never be regained. Oh my god. Ordinary Toad, come back to us. King Toad, King Toad, we need you. We need you. Have you
Have you heard of Scarecrow, Ship Protector? Apparently, it burns ship. No. No, Remy, I've actually not heard of that. Is it a... Is it a game? I've not heard of that, man. Um... I did hear this morning, though, I know a lot of people were wondering after one of those AMAs uh, as to whether or not Wellies and John Richmond would be accepting Shiba Inu coin, and they are accepting Shiba Inu coin as payment now, so they're, they're setting it up with now payments. I don't know if they will be burning Shiba Inu coin, but they will be accepting Shiba Inu coin. Ordinary Toad, I'll see what I can do about that. Let's make him a new one. He might have relinquished his crown, but he can get a new one. Josh, what's going on? Guest name, how you doing, man? Josh, guest name, do you prefer Josh or do you prefer guest name? Either way, I'll call you whatever you prefer. Your name is literally guest name, though, so I figured we'd go guest name. Uh, let's see. We need some action there. Farmy's been sitting stagnant. I, guys, I don't know if any of you guys are actually in Farmy or not. I am in Farmy. Uh, CFO resigned as, of, well, I don't know if it was actually yesterday, but news released this morning that the CFO resigned. So Farmy may be sitting pretty stagnant here today. But honestly, with the low volume that it's been seeing over the last week, if Farmy does have a little bit of action in it, it probably could go on a decent run. But there's going to be a lot of, of conservative investors that don't want to touch it because April 15th, you've got a shareholder meeting on whether or not to uh, they're going to approve a 25 for 1 reverse split. And like I said, the CFO just dipped out. But yeah, man, with the low volume that it's been experiencing, hey, any, any sort of a good day could be very nice for... For farming to move higher. Did I just take that resistance line off? Or support line? Let's keep it there. Yeah. Let's let's move it up there. I don't want it to move any lower than that, so we'll put it right there. Okay, and that that's fine there. It's actually probably right here, but we'll put it there. Good, now we got that looking good there. We'll go back over here to GameStop and watch it rise throughout the rest of the day because that's what we want to see. Hey, bro, Danelle can't make it to the stream. It's okay. Danelle, come to the afternoon stream. The Mac Daddy in the house. Hello, Paul. The latest ERC-20 token with an aim to auto-pump Shiba, Shiba and protect it from any predators out there. Not sure if it's pull or legit. It's new. Interesting. It's probably going to get a bad reputation from the developers because they don't like any coin that is, is related to Shiba Inu coin other than Bone and Leash. But I don't know, man. That ship burn token, they, they burned a billion Shiba Inu coin. So it could be real. could be fake, man. I, I don't know. Those, those new tokens are always very dangerous to get into. They really are. That's right, KSC. Uh, leave your... What? Leave your dental at the homeboys and take over the BC Pill Pop. Man. I think Devil's. I think I know what Devil's Advocate is going to be doing this weekend. Where is Danelle's crown? Where is it? Stopped and hit the like button. Heading to the beach. Good luck, Ronald Nani, man. Heading to the beach. I love it, dude. Enjoy that beach day, for real, dude. For real. You get a. You just like going to lay on the beach, man. You get a boogie board or anything. You to go have some fun in the waves. Like, what's going on, Ronald? Let us live through you for a minute, man. Let us live through you. We need to know what you're doing down there at the beach. What's up, bros? Happy Friday, fam, from Fort Lauderdale. Mike Garcia, happy cold Friday from here in Ohio. And hopefully you're having some nice weather down there in Fort Lauderdale, too. True, 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 true. There's, they're, they're risky, man, but you can make some money. But you just got to know they're risky. Uh, what did I want to see over here? Uh... I want to scroll through. Molinado, 16%. Let's see where that's at. See if we got any resistance or support on Molinado. Wow. Dang, man. If you, if you were trading the, the daily 1348 crossover on Molinado, you wouldn't have got in until today. That's rough. Well, could be a longer term upswing for Molinado then. But as far as support lines go, ah man, you might be falling all the way back down here to a buck seventy five before you get a major level of support. Let's put that line on there and see what happens with it. You know what? We don't need I don't need this because 
three cents is nothing. All right, we'll keep that line there. See what happens. Buck sixty nine. Tilray is still doing very well today. It is pulling back a little bit, but it's up ten percent on the day. Jagex coming today looks like a rough day, actually, guys. I know AMC and GameStop are green, but if you come out here to the the overall watch list we got, you can see there's a lot of red in the market today. So today does look like a a pretty rough day. Dang man, the stock's getting hit twelve percent today. It's no good there. PBIG down six percent. Golly bum. Yeah, today's a rough day. All right, now I don't feel as bad if these stocks pull back a little bit because overall market is pulling back. Antero Resources performing beautifully. Oh, man, very nice. Let's go back out here. Look at this custom graph. And hello, Clay. Checking in from Mexico. Have a good day, my man. You too, Steve. What are you doing in Mexico? You live in Mexico or are you on vacation? Uh, let's see. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Devil's advocacy. I don't know. This the purpose is to be able to provide oral stimulation without passing off STDs. Someone didn't pay attention in high school health. Devil's advocacy that didn't exist when I was in high school, man. That's, that's something for you newfangled kids out there. Uh, that, uh, no. That never existed. Or I guess just the ones young enough. Okay, yes. <laughs> no, I can guarantee that didn't exist when I was in high school. It's National Peacock Day today, by the way. I did not know that either. Devil's Advocate, remember that class also can use plastic wrap as well. Well, we didn't have high school health class. We had high school daycare for all the babies. Cassie, very good class, man. Can you give a look at Xenu? Uh, CD Wit, crypto or stock? Clearly wrote, my nine-year-old son, Cohen, says good morning from Kansas. Kyle! Good morning to your nine-year-old son, Cohen, man. Hopefully, you guys are both having a great day today. Hello from Ohio. Vengeance Shadows are calling. Gotham is deprived of their virtual, visual, visual anti. Ooh, visual anti. And Oz is gaining influence over the city. Oh, no! Smash the like button. No spamming. Keep the comments respectful. Frank, man, thank you very much. Let's see. We are bouncing back a little bit here. Is the NASDAQ bouncing back, too? Beautiful. Hopefully we hit a bottom. We we could have hit a double bottom in the Nasdaq right here. I mean, we're gonna we're not gonna leave this on here too long. We may have hit a double bottom here in the Nasdaq, and I would love to see. I would love to see a just a steady rise into the close for the next four hours today. That would be beautiful if the Nasdaq ended in positive territory. And AMC, GameStop, Prog, which is bouncing back a little bit. Shiba Inu coin, which is bouncing back a little bit. All of these stocks that we're sitting here watching started to bounce back a little bit, along with the NASDAQ. That would be very nice. Sundial on its way back up, too, from $0.71 cents to $0.78 cents right now. We could be getting back into the 80s here. That would be very nice. Trap, you still get your, your Sundial, man? You still get your Sundial? I know it was at $0.93 cents pre-market. Um... And it's at 78 cents right now. Hopefully, if you still got it, you're, you're going to be making some money above a dollar. Whatever your price target is there. Mall and Auto seem to be having a pretty rough day today, along with BBIG. But, all right, guys, we'll make it out. We'll make it out. Anybody care to have Dogecoin? I don't want to scroll around on here. I want to take something off this list. I'm thinking Dogecoin. I'm thinking we take Dogecoin off the list. I don't know if anybody even in here has Dogecoin. I'm going to take Dogecoin off the list. If you guys want to put it back on, we can put it back on. But I just don't want to keep scrolling around on that. <clears throat> Clint, what did you do before becoming a YouTube sensation? Kelly, if I told you, man, I wouldn't be... I, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I'm not gonna tell, I never want to hold myself up to know any more than only what you guys see on YouTube. Smiles and says, wow, thanks. Very nice. Very nice. Kyle, you got a good kid, man. Antero's taking off again today. I started with 100 and basically at 1,000. Darn, I wish I had more when I invested. Kyle, can't kick yourself over not having more or... Am I, am I lagging? I'm looking just ridiculously on my computer here and I'm worried that I'm going to lose my connection again or something. But it does seem like I'm lagging like crazy on here. Uh... Yeah, dude, don't don't feel bad that you didn't go all in or anything on Ontario Resources. 
it's clearly doing very well. But dude, you're still you're still killing it on that trade. Good morning, Cohen. I used to live in Kansas like 20 years ago. Man, Cohen's getting all the friends today. Wow, one Smirnoff, a cheap date. I know I missed something there. I know I missed something. Darn it. Whoa, are you flirting with me? He might be. Smooth, 007 is clay. Lagging. Yeah, Kelly, I figured out what clay used car sales before you did. <laughs> I did not do that. Well, I have sold some of my cars, but uh, I was not a used car salesman. I have Doge, but it's on the back burner simmering. Okay, I think Frank might be the only person with back burner or back back burner in here with with Doge in here. Your voice is fine. We don't watch you anyway. We read the chat and listen. That is actually probably true. If the voice is good, but I'm over here like swimming, then it's gonna be all right. Crypto Z New. He wants to check out Z New on the crypto. Let's see what we got for Zenu. Zenu, Zenu. Zombie Inu is what Zenu is. All right, it's a good deal. Zombie Inu, man, we got a lot of zeros in Zombie Inu. Well, let's pull up this thing so you guys can actually see it too. A lot of zeros in Zombie Inu here, but uh, I don't know what the market cap is. A fully diluted market cap, $46 million. I don't know how many coins they have outstanding right now, but one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven zeros and a four. They have a total supply of million, billion, trillion, one quadrillion. So very similar to Shiba Inu coin. Zombie Inu has seven zeros as opposed to the four zeros. So you guys get thousand X if you get to the same market cap as Shiba Inu coin there. I have no idea if it will reach that. How many holders you guys got over here? Only 14,000 holders, which is hard to believe because a lot of people do talk about Zombie Inu, man. Okay, so you got over 421 trillion sent to a dead wallet already. That's good. I mean, you do have some pretty big holders in here with $300,000, owning about a half a percent, all the way up to a percent each. Doesn't seem to be insane, though. Yeah, man, you got a lot of people that did very well on Zombie Inu here. And it is pulling back since the October-November high when Shiba Inu coin was doing very well and all cryptos were soaring. It has been hitting these lower highs. So it does seem to be bottoming out in this area, though. If you're not in it yet, I might wait to like 4,300. 4,400 this area in here touching it again in this area in here We're almost about to touch it in this area here. I'd say you might have another 10% decline or so Before you hit this bottom and that could be significant below that. I mean you're coming all the way back down to to where it started Ah, uh, part one. Also, bro, a series about needing your help to find out what company is behind this male contraceptive being studied. How do you find out when the news articles are about the pill itself? Does that just mean it's, sci it's a science breakthrough overall and not a company or a private company or what? And also, just in general, with news, how do you usually find who's behind it? So, Devil's Advocate, that's actually a really good question, man. Since I know nothing about it, it does bring up the possibility that it's just being studied, right? And there are several different, I mean, it could be being studied by different companies. If there's no mention of the company in the article, uh, and you know, you're probably better at Google searching than I would be. But as far as that goes, it could just be, it could just be a study at this point. And I, I don't know if it's just like a, university doing a research study or if it is an actual company looking to get a patent but clearly if it is a patentable idea i mean i guess if you want to do a patent search you could see who the owner of that was and see if it is a company or or a person or a university clay is pretty smooth fake clay bro we need uh, need to step up his game he comes off too robotic we must make him a bro teach him the errors of his ways if you guys can make the robo clay bro a bro that would be incredible. I just went in on Ship Toro yesterday. Very nice. Kyle jumping in on Ship Toro. Lewis, Cassie, how you feeling? Hopefully, Lewis is feeling pretty good today, man. Lewis has had surgery on his leg there, it looks like, and it looks pretty difficult. 
or it looks pretty, I, I don't know, I, thought, I mean, it does look difficult, but looked rough. Man, I am just lagging like crazy. Let me, let me turn this camera off and turn it back on. I know you guys can probably still hear me, but something going on, man. Nah, still lagging like crazy. I don't know. It wants me to do a Windows update, so that could be why it's lagging a little bit, but very weird that the camera's lagging so bad. Sorry about that, guys. There's mentions of doctors specifically, but not necessarily a company that I've seen at least, but I'd imagine be a good buy. Yeah, it could be, dude. could be. The only thing that I don't like about pharmaceuticals and drug companies like that is that they have to go through, th through so many regulations, and if they don't get FDA approval, all of a sudden, man, the stock is worthless, and, and your investment just tanks. So there's a lot of risk associated with pharmaceuticals, but hopefully... I mean, if it all works out and you jump into it, man, or you can find out who does it, let us know, and then we can still make the decision. What is the best time to buy on Uniswap? Oh, roulette wheel. I don't know if there's necessarily a better time to buy. <laughs> Did you try plugging it in? Yeah, peak of power. The camera is plugged in, but it's very... I, I don't know why it's lagging right now. I have no idea. Is If the voice isn't lagging, it's got to be the... It's got to be the camera. Because it's not the microphone. Microphone seems to be doing fine down there. Uh, let's just... I don't know. Let's... Is it lagging when I'm on... Yeah, I'm lagging on big screen too. Alright, well, let's let's possibly go no face for a minute. Let's see if it deals up. Because I can't stand looking at it lagging. I feel weird. Oh, look where we at. What's that? Oh, no. What's that, man? Message him. I have been investing with him in peace of mind for six months now. Wow. What's that? Good job, man. Glad to see you're looking good there. We can actually move Prague over here since we don't have me on the screen right now. And you guys can get a little bit better view of that. But we will be back if the camera stops acting like it's ridiculous. So I don't know why it's... I don't know why it's acting like that. We'll get it figured out. Maybe I need to reset the router and do all that stuff a little bit later. But let's go on through and see just a little recap of what we got going on here. HYMC barcoding throughout the day. It is down to $1.31 right now. Seems to be down about $0.02 cents on the day at $1.30. BBIG down here in the bottom left getting hit pretty hard today, down 5%. SPY is sitting at about break even. CEI down 2.5% today, around 88.5 cents per share. Mullen Auto is still getting hit pretty hard at $2.48. We've got Sundial trying to break back above 80 cents per share. Sundial is up 7% on the day. It was doing very well pre market. A lot of people took their profit at the open, and we might have some more traders jumping in on that 70 cent level watching it go higher here but we are at a level of resistance that 80 cents per share you know we have this line here at 81 cents but 80 cents 81 cents seems to be a level of resistance if it breaks through it you guys could see another takeoff back to the upside potentially back to the 90 cent range and then we've got amc amc's up top we got that there farmy sitting sideways really no action there down two and a half percent of the day prog is bottom right and gamestop still up five percent on the day after doubling in the last week, going from about $75 to $158 per share. Absolutely incredible gains in GameStop just in the last two weeks alone. Blocked WhatsApp. That has to be fake. Clara. It's a fake somebody. It's a fake somebody. I don't know who it is. Prog earnings and corporate update Monday after hours. Also, if you click news, Clay, earnings expectations were posted in We Will News. Do you ever analyze expectations? If so, for what? So who posted the earnings expectations, though? Was it just uh, analyst expectations? Let's see where Prog's at here. Because, yeah, man, you can absolutely look at the, the earnings expectations. Earnings expectations are great, but 
it all matters and it honestly sometimes it doesn't even matter if they have good earnings it only matters if they beat or fall short of expectations so we come back to the news we've got where oh, earnings preview Said to give his latest quarterly earnings report on Monday. Here's what investors need to know before the announcements. Analysts estimate. Okay, so these are analyst estimates of Prague's earnings. And, you know, a lot of heavily traded stocks or bigger companies will constantly have analyst recommendations and analyst estimates out on them. It's not like you're just looking at that uh, prior to an earnings release. Uh, analysts are constantly reviewing a lot of the bigger stocks. And the fact that they, they have this on Prague is probably because of the popularity at the moment. But uh, analysts expect a negative 16 cent earnings per share. So they expect a loss of 16 cents per share. And the bulls will hope to hear the company will to announce they've not only beaten that estimate, but also provide a positive guidance and forecasted growth, clearly. New investors should note that, that it is sometimes not an earnings beat or miss that most affects the stock price, but guidance or forecast, yes, clearly. Stoker performance, last quarter of the company beat earnings per share by $0.07, cents, which was followed by 11.93% drop in the share price the next day. That is good to know. Here's a look at Prog's past performance and earnings results price change. Oh, that's, well, good deal. So, their estimate, negative 45 cents, negative 80 cents, negative 81 cents, negative $1.82 in 2020. So, other than 2020, they have beat earnings estimates every single time. But it seems like, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see this pop up on Weeble or not. But when they fall short of expectations, the stock price surges. And when they beat expectations, the stock price falls dramatically. So that's very interesting that they've been doing that over the last year. They've beat analyst expectations every single time. And I'm not going to lie, the, the expectations are improving drastically for Prague. So if you look at a negative 80 cents earnings per share and... Yeah, you know what? They may have diluted. Did Prog dilute their, their stock? Negative 45 cents per share in quarter three of 2021. In quarter four of 2021, you're looking at negative 16 cents earnings per share. So either they diluted their stock by about 4x or they're really improving their fundamentals. So a 16 cent per share lost, if they beat those expectations, I mean, they could come out, they could be coming out with a, a positive earnings result there positive earnings number would be great but yeah you, you could definitely look at your earnings expectations and see that the earnings expectations are improving greatly but it all comes down to whether or not the actual earnings report beats the the earnings estimate uh whatsapp oh no got deleted man dude you could at least get like a normal name and come in here as opposed to getting a WhatsApp and then some random phone number name. Nobody nobody falls for that stuff, man. Uh, AR, thanks. I tried to buy some token on there recently, and the gas fees are nuts. Yeah, roulette wheel, man. If you're buying an Ethereum token, your gas fees probably are going to be pretty crazy. Pika Clay is much more handsome than the charts as well. Um, Well, thank you, Ugandan Toad. But it's really weird, dude. It's really weird if I'm down here and I'm like, uh, like glitching back and forth. I don't know. Well, we we can pull it back up. Is I'll I'll reset the, all everything in between the the streams here and try to get it working. Uh, I believe it is important to note that Prague is confirmed delivering a corporate update with earnings. That is very good. Anytime a corp a company does follow their their announcements there and hit earnings when they say they're going to release them. He must exceed his data. I must have exceeded my data limit for the month. Yeah, dude, something's going on with the connection between my camera on the computer i think everything else is fine like i'm not having any problems at all with uh, i don't even have i don't even have chrome set up on that one so yeah something's definitely going on with the connection here but it's gonna be all right what app is now whatsapp is now banned boom see you later whatsapp good luck now nah, i'm more sexually attracted to the charts than a human but devil's advocate there's something about money that is attractive man 
No joke on that. We could pull it back up a little bit just to see. Nah, dude, I can't stand it. It's not even moving. It's just freezing me. <sighs> Where are we at? Sundial having a hard time breaking back up above that 80 cent line. Currently pulling back two cents. Sitting at 78.21 right now. AMC starting to fall back a little on the day as well. $20.60. If you guys are in those options plays, especially if you're in that 2050 strike, let's take a look at that again. You were buying it yesterday for 58 cents. If you're in it today, uh, no, this is Prague. This is Prague. We want AMC. AMC options with that 2050 strike price. So look at that. This morning it was at 78 cents. Right now it's already down to 48 cents. So please be very careful. You're still above your strike, but look, you're still pay you 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 already lost 10 cents per share because of the the expiration and the theta decay there. So you got to be careful with those options. They do lose a lot of value on expiration day. Um so if you guys are are playing those or were playing the 1348 or playing any sort of moving average crossover or earnings or options expectations for AMC, please just I don't know make money. Don't let it expire worthless. That would be terrible. Because if it if it's like three o'clock, guys, and AMC sitting at twenty dollars, not twenty dollars and fifty cents, it's gonna be pretty difficult to to make money there. You might only see like a five cent five cent price on those options. Uh, did you vote yet, Clay, bro? So, Kyle, no, I don't have any vote yet, man. Sorry, I do not. I don't know if I'm going to be buying any of those smaller tokens, at least in the in the short term here, man. I don't know if I'm going to be adding any more small tokens to my, my crypto portfolio. All well, about that money, baby devil's advocate. Get it. Clay, I don't know if you already talked about ShibToro. I keep hearing about it. Your take. So, Lewis, I have not talked about ShibToro, man. I honestly, I don't know much about a lot of these smaller tokens. We can take a look at ShibToro, though. Uh, if we take a look at ShibToro, just ignore ignore me lagging in the bottom right. So, ShibToro sitting here. So many zeros, you can't even count it. Looks like this is probably one of those those coins with uh, 420 or 69 sextillion outstanding supply or whatever. So longer term, it's only been out for about a month, maybe about a month and a half. It's bottomed out twice here. You can't even count the zeros on the chart. So I, I don't know what percentage gain this would even be because these charts don't go out that far. But as far as holders go, only 3,000 holders, man. So it's still an extremely small token. And I would imagine some of these guys have some pretty big amounts in here. So you got a dead wallet with roughly 50% of the supply being burnt. And yeah, it does look like it's probably about a 69 sextillion supply. Kind of like... Uh, what is the... Shibnobi. Probably very similar to Shibnobi. But you got a lot of guys out here that own about $100,000 worth, coming all the way down to about $18,000 on the first page. Top 50, top 50 holders own $18,000 plus. Um, as far as the website, what do they got? I don't know what the tokenomics are. I don't like tokens where you know 5% go to the developing team and things like that. Ten percent tax with three percent going to the marketing team, three percent going to the development team, one percent going back to you, two percent going into liquidity pools, and one is auto burnt. Dude, three percent going to development is that's tough, man. And then marketing too. It's basically the developers when they want to pay for marketing. So if you're looking at a three percent fee going to the developers every trade. 3%, dude, they've already made six, they've already made seven and a half thousand dollars today, just in the last 24 hours on this volume. And this volume is down 16 and a half percent. So if they're out there every single day, what's the volume? One million, dude, one million dollars being traded in the first day there with 7% going to the developers. They made 70 grand here on the first day. And next day they're sitting here making 30 grand. Next day they're sitting here making another 30 grand. Next day they're sitting here 
making what is this three hundred thousand? Uh, dude, they're they're walking away with a lot of money, man. Making another ten grand on that day. Those developers are making a lot of money with just these people trading that token. Three percent is big, and then you know they've got what a hundred thousand, almost two hundred thousand dollars sitting in their uh, marketing wallet as well that they can pay. What's up, Chula? Haven't seen you in six months. Wow, it's been long. Javi the Great, man. Glad to have you in here. I'm a pro pulling out Remy. Good deal, man. Baby Dogecoin, what's going on? Haven't seen Baby Dogecoin in a while. Shiptor is supposed to be partnering up with Shiba Inu, I hear. Kyle, I've not heard it. I don't know if... And I don't... I, I Guys, I'm going to say this. I don't feel like the developers would be partnering with any of these littler coins. I truly don't, man. I think that they're going to be focused solely on Bone and Leash, Shiboshis, and Shiba Inu coin. I don't think that they're going to to be promoting other coins at all. Remily, strictly from a scientific standpoint, that statement is extreme. <laughs> Fuck, dude, he's bro. But what, what about a... Uh, never mind. Uh, I have to agree with those advocates. There are always exceptions to the rule. Uh, that is true as well. Or I'm in for earlier. Too many years on my laptop on my lap. Could be, man. Could be. Yeah, kids. I think superficially, men will always say that they're not about it and make blood jokes, but on deeper levels, it gives power back to the men, which they'd all love. Yeah, men do love power. No jokes on that, man. Men do love power. NASDAQ sitting sideways over the last, I don't know, half hour or so. Not able to break back up here. We got a little tiny W that formed here. Little tiny W. And I would really like to see the NASDAQ end positively today. AMC is having a very rough afternoon so far. Retesting these $20 levels. We may see it fall back down if it breaks this level in here. $20 is going to be a decent level of support though. So hopefully we're able to maintain that 20 We got to clean some of this up. You clean it up or zoom in. 12, I don't want that. 1450, I do want to leave 1450. But we don't need that one as for now. We'll leave these. Yeah, forget this one. We'll leave these lines. We got a pretty strong level of support at this $20 level. And some decent resistance at that $22 level, 21 to 22. So we're gonna keep our eyes on these levels here. If AMC breaks this $20 level, yeah, we could be coming back down to 19 rather quickly. So hopefully it doesn't, 1918 area, but that 1450 is still a very strong major level of support there. So hopefully we do not break down below the $20 level on the on AMC's price. You made it, Danelle. Danelle is here. Danelle. Mm. Mm. Danelle. Mm. Thank you very much for the super sticker, Danelle. Absolutely appreciate that. Danelle, my bell. These are the words that go together well, my Danelle. Dang, man, you got in Toad is just a beast. I love that poem, you got in Toad. Those epic guys, yeah, I got tricked into a child I didn't want at the time. Now regrets, but uh, no regrets, but now it led to it led to some dark times. Some male contraception needs change, and this could be it. It's Pringleton. Very, very crazy, man. Very crazy story. Chris, thank you very much for the super chat, Chris. Chris says, work's been stupid busy. Probably going to end up working through the squeeze. Glad to be catching in the, whoa, in the rear end of the chat. Hope everyone's good. Clay, thanks for the Tilray video. Chris, boom. You know, the Tilray video actually did pretty well. Um, I kind of liked that idea. Gosh, I can't stand this camera lagging up on me. Um, it, it didn't do phenomenally in views or anything, but the, the click-through rate was great, and it I think it was exposed to a lot of newer viewers. You know, we see a lot of people just in AMC and Shiba Inu coin watching the, the videos, but I think it exposed it to some newer investors out there, so I, I kind of like the idea of branching out a little bit like that. Chris, absolutely, man. And thank you very much for the the super chat there. And I hope you're doing very well on your till rate. I don't know where your break-even point is or anything. 
we actually don't even keep Tilray on the chart here. But I do know that Tilray was up about 10% earlier. Sundial still doing very well. Yeah, Tilray is up 12% right now. And Sundial trying to break back above that 80 cent level. So hopefully you're doing pretty well, man. At least you've got a pretty strong level of support now on Tilray at this, I would say, probably $7 range, man. You probably got a pretty strong level of support here at seven bucks, but please keep note that if things don't pan out next week with with all of the talks in the house and all of that stuff, it could break this. Uh, it could break that line on news. So just be careful with it, man. It does seem like you got some very strong support now at that seven dollar range. So hopefully you maintain levels above it. And you were at eight fifty pre market and post market yesterday, so. I wouldn't think it would be terribly difficult to get back above that 850 level. Peak of power. Thank you for the rose, peak of power. Absolutely appreciate that. Um, you might not know about it, but thank you for the rose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. That rose was delicious, Pika. Thank you very much. Uh, that's what I'm saying, everyone. It's superficially, people will make fun of it because it's manly. It's, it's a, it isn't manly to take birth control, but at the end of the day, it gives the, you more power and control, and girls would love it too. Man, if everybody loves it, just do it. Lewis, I'm sorry to hear about your pain. I'm feeling some today, too. Get it better. The, that's an order. Dude, Danelle. Danelle's bossy. I like it. Get better, Lewis. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. Lewis says, yes, ma'am. I will. Dang it. Lewis is awesome. We closing above 20 today. JP, yes. We are closing above 20 today. AMC is pulling back right now. The NASDAQ. Where's the NASDAQ? NASDAQ kind of leveling over a little bit. The, the AMC volatility is picking up here towards the early afternoon. But we do have support at this $20 level. And I believe this support is going to hold. So if we fall back down here to 20, I do think that we are going to see at least a decent bounce off of this level. So I don't think it's going to be as easy to break it as a lot of people would expect. AMC still slightly in the green today. GameStop down here bottom left right now. Finding support at $144. Hopefully that level holds up. Um, I, I think it would be pretty similar to see AMC and GameStop both bouncing off these lows here. But, guys, very tough afternoon. I mean, you can see it. You know, Prague curling over down here. I guess I'm in the bottom corner now. Prague curling over down here in, in the red today. GameStop having a pretty difficult afternoon after a great morning. So GameStop trying to fall back a little bit. Could be testing break-even levels. AMC curling over. We've got uh, the NASDAQ. It's curling over as well. Possibly going to retest these lows at 14.025. Farmy sitting down 2% on the day. Sundial not having a great time. Breaking back above 80 cents per share. Mullen Auto getting hit pretty hard. Sitting down 18%. CEI trying to make its way back up today, but really trading sideways throughout the afternoon. Sitting at 87, almost 88 cents. BBIG down 6%. HYMC sitting at $1.30, $1.31, just barcoding today. So it, overall, rather difficult day, man. I would say yes. Let's try and stay above $20 per share. But uh, when everything's red, man, it, it does become difficult to... To know what's going to happen next. That gulp was terrifyingly loud. Was it really? Dude. Oh. Was that loud? I mean, it was right next to the microphone. But Max Payne AMC was 18. At GME 120. Anything more than that is a bonus. Shoot. I say we definitely stay above Max Payne then, Pringleton. No worries on that. Driving, but listening. And you're typing, Pringleton. You're typing. You shouldn't be typing and driving. Ordinary toad. No. I just really, I just think it's really sweet. Pig, you laughing? Am I singing? No, no, no. Nobody's laughing at it. Dude, Ordinary Toad's the man. I, I watched that appreciation video again. When was it? Yesterday or the day before? Ordinary Toad is the man. You gone and Toad here. Very nice. So does everyone here think movie theaters will still be around in 10 years? A-Tracks, records, VHS, CDs, drives, uh, drive-ins, all dead. Yeah, here's the thing. I do think movie theaters would be around in 10 years if we didn't have some sort of a technology that would completely outdo them. Now... I will say this, and I know you guys are, I know a lot of people think that movie theaters will be around forever, right? 
And there's a big difference in watching a movie at home and watching a movie at a movie theater. I will say that. In movie theaters, you know, you guys can go on dates to movies and, like, have a, have a weekend or whatever. So there's that aspect of it that I don't think can necessarily be duplicated by watching at home. Um, and I, I get the argument yeah, that yes, people can eat at home, but they go out to restaurants. People can go, they can drink at home, but they go to bars. Like I get all of those arguments, but with the metaverse and virtual reality, I would say having drastic gains and drastic improvements over the next decade, I don't know because there could be a completely immersive movie experience in your own home through virtual reality that you that would just blow movie theaters away, right? Uh, somebody that would have said Blockbuster is still going to be around because people need to watch new releases, uh, Netflix killed them. So there's, there's always going to be something that comes out, and I don't know if movie theaters would be able to compete against an experience like that. Clearly, I don't know if people are going to be going on dates in the metaverse or that that social aspect of being able to go out to the movies with friends or or you know having a nice evening, dinner, and a movie, things like that. But I do think that there will be experiences that drastically outperform the movie theater experience. Ragas, thank you for the slice of pie, man. We're gonna cut into that slice of pie. We take it out. Mm. Ragas, thank you very much for the super sticker. Lewis, man, Lewis, man, he's making sure that I get my workout in. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, one more set, one more set. Keep it up. Oh, Lewis, thank you very much for the workout, man. Appreciate that. You got to keep these biceps going. Lewis, thank you very much. Always keeping it up. Everybody's keeping it up in here, right? You guys better be exercising while we're watching the live stream. Making money and staying swole. Lewis, thank you. JB says, what do the dice say? Boom. JB, Yahtzee, man. Yahtzee. JB wins. We should uh, we should have a, a set of dice, right? And then if you guys if you guys roll a certain certain thing. You guys win like a shirt or something. JB, we should actually make that a game, man. Since you sent so many die, we should make it a game. Is there a super sticker that's a it's a dice or anything? We should make one. Why would you retreat? with Lewis? No, don't don't delete Lewis's message. What are you guys doing? Um, yeah, we should make a game like that where we roll the dice and then JB can win. Ah, uh, record market is popping. A record market is popping. You will be in the metaverse front row with a sporting event with heptic responses. Take it even deeper and be on the player's helmet. Dude, you absolutely could be, man. You absolutely could be. Um, I, I think that's possible. Sick, f sick form, bro. <laughs> Remy, thank you, man. Thank you. We got a lot of practice in. I predict theaters would be more like Fo more like Fox, uh, Steel Place, where Broadway shows come. I think you said that before, right, Devil's Advocate? I think you said that before. The movie before when we're fancy with tables and waiters and supplies. Yeah, and see, like that, that takes advantage of the social aspect of it, right? I, I do agree. Like, there's there's going to be something that could keep theaters in business, but I don't necessarily think it's going to be watching a movie. I do think that you're going to have better experiences watching a movie in in the next decade than you would be by going and seeing a big screen on a wall. Clay Bro, today's crown goes to the man who took into the phrase the fall of 72. Trademark pending, he's a bullish AMC ape who annoys from the mention of Shiba Inu coin. But we've got Chris Cornett is the king of the chat today. Chris, man, winning the king's crown. Chris, man, congratulations to you. You are king of the chat today. Clay Bro, check Twitter. I clipped the goal up. I want you to play it and hear it. I'm going to turn my volume up, though. My volume is extremely low. Okay, I'll play it. After I say, Chris, thank you very much for the super chat. One, need the squeeze because I can't stand most people. Long story shirt. I like it. People make fast food harder than it should be. Also, theaters will be done eventually. Just going off people moving towards a world of convenience. Yeah, Chris, dude, I agree. Especially, not even necessarily convenience, but I, I do think there will be better experiences than the movies. Um... 
But the so, what do you guys think about the social aspect of going to movies too? Because I do think that might be difficult to, uh, to to kill off or whatever. Uh, like Devil's Advocates thing of like going to the show. I do think that that could be what theaters try and strive towards. Especially man, if AMC starts to eat up a monopoly on theaters, uh, you know you could see it that way. But like, you go out to a restaurant. I get it. I don't really go out to that many restaurants, but I get it. There's that social aspect of going out to eat. It's you don't have to to cook and all that stuff. I do enjoy cooking, but there is a different aspect, and I don't think restaurants are going to die. But they've got that social quality. Theaters you can't really talk, but theaters do have some sort of a social quality to them. Have you seen the TikTok video with a couple where the girlfriend asks the guy to take her somewhere expensive and he takes her to get... No, nah, I haven't seen that one, man. I haven't seen that one. I, I, I've i seen other ones where he takes her to, like, uh, Subway and stuff like that. I think when they were saying it was expensive. Uh, I think they'll adapt and not be taken out is basically what I'm trying to say. I think they'll adapt, but it won't be like going to just watch a movie at that point. I think it'll be a little bit of a different experience. Oh, what did, what did somebody say right before Chris? What was I going to do? Oh, oh, I was going to Twitter. Twitter. Oh, God. Lewis, man, thank you very much for the Zoo Jack. Congrats, Chris. Chris won the crown today, Lewis. It is all right. Chris is king of the jet for the rest of the day today. Oh, God. Devil's Advocate. I don't know how you guys clip all this stuff. That's ridiculous, man. But thank you. I DM'd you a clip. You're going to listen. I did. Just listen, man. Yes. I don't know why you guys do all this stuff, but that's... I feel so I feel so good about myself when I see myself doing really really weird things like that. Danell, I don't know about the best air fryer meal, but I didn't send you a picture the other day because this was really good, but so far I like probably the chicken wings the best. Not the chicken tenders. I really liked the chicken wings that I did, but um I made a bloomin' onion. I made a bloomin' onion in the air fryer and that was really good. I I made the like I made the like the, the actual onion was good, but I made the oh, what is it, the batter or whatever that like the flour and stuff. I made that like slightly spicy. So I would have liked a more I guess outback style bloomin' onion. But no, nah, dude, I put that bloomin' onion in there for I think the first round was 10 minutes and then I might have put it in for like another 6 minutes or something like that. But dude, that bloom I've never made a bloomin' onion before in my entire life, and I made a bloomin' onion in the in the air fryer, and then I took it over to my mom's house, because we typically go over, like, well, my grandpa's house. We typically go over there with the family on Sundays, and I took that bad boy over there. Everybody loved it. Everybody loved it. It was super easy to do in the air fryer, too, man. Never made one before in my life. I would tweak the... I would tweak the... Why do I... Batter. Like the flour concoction that you, you put on it. I would tweak the recipe on that. I didn't really like that part of the recipe. But, dude, making a blooming onion in an air fryer and just putting it in there and letting it go, yeah, that was pretty good. As for actual meal, I liked the chicken wings better than the the blooming onion. But never made one before. Put that bad boy in there. It was sweet. Um, my wife went on a new diet, bananas and coconuts. She didn't lose weight, but she can really climb a tree. A but <laughs> about man you come up with this stuff favorite part of the restaurant is ordering to take it home or a really nice days down the river to eat alone without a crowd ah cassie that sounds pretty cool i haven't yeah i haven't spent too much time in restaurants in in a long time actually but it is important make a solo video about how to make an air fryer bloom an onion dude i could make a video it, it, the sad thing is like that video would probably do better than uh, any of my videos ever ever done I didn't know how to cut an onion right to make a blooming onion out of it so I looked up a quick video 
how to cut a bloomin' onion. Dude had like 150,000 views on it. Just cutting this bloomin' onion. It was like a minute long on how to cut it. But, no, dude, I, I could do like a full bloomin' onion video too. Because it was actually really good. But I would have I would have tweaked the 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 batter recipe before I'd be completely satisfied with uh, like the bloomin' onion recipe. But no, guys, if if you wanted to make a bloomin' onion in the air fryer, very simple, and you'd have a nice appetizer or or something to go around there. <laughs> yes, the strict hydra. You got it, man. You got it. If Matt Perry can go off in a, a ton of his videos, you can make cooking videos. I did not know that Matt Perry golfs in a ton of his videos, but I should make cooking videos because I actually do enjoy it. I took a picture of the, the salmon and the rice and the asparagus that I made last night. Dude, that salmon was actually really good last night. That salmon was really good. Salmon was probably better than... I didn't like the way that the, the spices came together on that Bloomin' Onion, but I did like making the Bloomin' Onion in the air fryer. Do it. Make it go viral. and Get your play button. Let's get it. Can't, they'd be like, what is this it is this stock market idiot making one Bloomin' Onion video for? And then all of a sudden, that's his most viewed video is a Bloomin' Onion. And then I'm like, dude, why do we Why do we even talk about stock? Let's talk, just talk about onions, man. Let's just talk about how to cut an onion five times a day. Clay's cooking channel, the Clay Bro, the Cook Bro. Cook Bro, coming soon, Remy. Cook Bro, coming soon. You guys will learn how to make a bloomin' onion and chicken wings and salmon and all of that good stuff. Volt Inu, let's go. Old clubs, let's get it, man. Volt Inu. Is, how's Volt Inu actually doing today? She was going to jump 45% tonight. Harris, 45% tonight? Um, 45%, what does 45% get you? I don't think it's going to jump 45% tonight. I don't think so. I'm not trying to be pessimistic either. But I do think that if it did break through this 2,500 level, you could see Sheba run pretty quickly to 2,800. I wouldn't be opposed to saying that, which would be a, a nice 20 plus percent increase in Shiba Inu coin. So I do think it could run 20 plus percent. Beyond that, yeah, this 3,000 level. So maybe if you're looking at that in this area in here, I think you might be able to get it. But I think you'd get held up here. So and I'm just trying to be realistic, man. I'm not trying to not trying to tell you, nope, Shiba Inu coin sucks. It's not running 45. I just think that that would be it. Peak of power. Thank you very much for the super sticker. Thank you very much, Pika Power, for the super sticker. I don't even know if my face is on screen half the time when I'm doing that, but man, I appreciate it. Pika, you're amazing. Forget that. Let's get money. Kyle says, forget cooking. Let's just get money, man. I'd watch Clay Bro Cooking Channel. We should we should do some sort of a secondary channel. Just look, We'll get it to 1,000 subscribers, and then we can just make it completely random or something. I know some people are like, yeah, just put up a Chip Bro channel. Let us watch your backyard and watch the groundhogs and the Chip Bros and all of that stuff taking place, and then people, are like, yeah, dude, make some cookie. I already post so many videos per day. I'm not gonna lie that it wouldn't be super easy to to post even more videos, but I do have to cook, so like I do do that stuff anyway. You just turn a camera on during it. I'd like to co-host your cooking show with Trapper. You have no choice. It's in your contract with Netflix. Duh! It's all right. It's all right. I say let's get started, man. AMC Trapper. No, we're not cooking cats, Trapper. We're not cooking cats on this channel. I'm an on freaking work computer, not getting paid. Hey, crap, I have no choice. Need a jump, so be positive, Kyle. I feel you, man. I feel you. A lot of people really waiting for, for one of these coins or one of these stocks to, to jump off, man. Me too. Me too. I, I really want it to go higher. I want to see everybody just floored with excitement. Bye bye gang. See you this afternoon. Have you smashed that like button? Because it is one o'clock, guys. Make sure to smash that like button. How many likes do we have? Only 50 likes on the stream right now. 52 likes. We get 62 people in here. Try to get it to at least 62 likes. Definitely not going to hit 100 today. But it's all right. We'll be getting the other one. Clay, landscape gardening. Dude, I could do a gardening channel. I, I was talking about starting a garden for this summer. So we'll have to see about that. But I don't do a ton of landscaping, though, man. I, I really don't. Chipmunk cooking channel. Chipmunks. Oh, 
chipmunks and food. I thought we were not cooking chipmunks, Cassie. We are not cooking chipmunks. I'm not doing that. Yum, chipmunk. No, Remy. I knew where you guys were going to go with it. Guys, get your name in the chats right now. Let's get some shout-outs going on, and then we will be back this afternoon. I know it's been a rather slow day, but hopefully the afternoon picks up, and we see these stocks start to jump. We can get excited about them once more. Kyle, man, shout-out to you, Harris. Kyle, Victor, have a great afternoon. AMC Trapper, see you later. Danelle, Shitsu Inu, Ordinary Toad, Pika Power, Danelle, Cassie, Danelle, Victor, Remy, Kalani, peace out to you, Ordinary Toad, see you later. Don't forget, guys, Chris is king of the chat today. Frank, man, have a good afternoon. Devil's Advocate, uh, enjoy your afternoon. Hopefully you guys come back later. Pika Power, Harris, Pika Power, Cassie, No Cooking Chipmunks channel for Chip Bro, food and gardening. Gotcha. That sounds a lot safer and a lot better. I will not be cooking any chipmunks. AMC Trapper says peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes. We got Yorkie, Inu, Destin, Ordinary Toad. Uh, see you in a bit later, bit Clay. Uh, guest name, Josh. Enjoy your afternoon, man. See you later. Laura F, AMC to the moon. Let's get it. I don't know if Lauren is listening right now, but shout out to you. Stephanie, if you're listening, have a great afternoon. Uh, hopefully see you guys in the 3 o'clock stream. Kaylita Will, peace out, my man. Danelle, see you. Kyle, Nicholas, yo, bro. See all of you guys in the afternoon stream. Riptide Redemption, see you later. Peak of power. Chris, get to keep the crown all weekend. Dang, man, Chris has got to be feeling good about that. Roulette wheel, enjoy it, and you guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.